You may associate Adobe Photoshop with photo editing, but it also has a lot of powerful graphic design uh, applications to it as well. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to shortly go over some techniques for creating textures. If you look at a lot of websites, even print media like brochures, annual reports, magazines, they oftentimes have a subtle texture sometimes in the background of um, some of their layouts. So go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop, go to File New, and I'm just going to choose a web preset, maybe 1024 by 768, that's fine for this example. I'm going to set it to 100% view. Um, and what I'm going to do first is create a new layer. So click that new layer icon on the bottom of the layers palette. If you don't see it, just go to Window then Layers. So you see we have a white background layer with a transparent layer 1. Let's go ahead and fill uh, this layer with our foreground color. So I'm going to click the foreground color and choose one. I just have this blue here. And go ahead and press Alt Backspace if you're on the PC. And then press uh, Option Delete though if you're on the Mac. And that's a shortcut, kind of like using the paint bucket tool. You just fill that entire area with that color. All right. Uh, one kind of subtle texture you might want to check out is go to Filter. We're going to go over Noise and then also some of the render uh, filters here. So if you go to Noise and then Add Noise, you can see. Uh, you can kind of overdo it if you go way to the right, but if you bring this percentage down a little bit, it can kind of be a subtle effect. So if you put it at about 10, look at Gaussian versus Uniform, Monochromatic, Checked and Unchecked, and see the differences between those. Once you have a look that you kind of like, go ahead and hit OK. And that's a basic uh, texture right there. You can take it a step further though. You can go to Filter, and you can also even go to Pixelate and choose one of these um, depending on what kind of background you're looking for. I mean, if you did color halftone, just hit OK. You can sign see that. It might be a little bit strong. The reason I do this on its own layer is that you can adjust the opacity right here, top of the layers palette, and bring it down to the left, and it'll bring that down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to um, Edit Undo, or actually step backward. I'm going to undo that. Uh, um, pixelation there. So I'm going to go to Pixelate again and go to Pointalize and just kind of see what that will look like. You can change the cell size. So, um, you know, if you want it kind of subtle, you can keep them small. But if you want something kind of exaggerated, you can make it larger. So I'll show you what I mean here. And it is an abstract background, kind of a texture. And again, you can bring the opacity down. And you can also bring um, even the fill down a little bit as well. All right, if you think it's too strong. All right, so I'm going to step backward there. I'm just showing a couple of possible techniques. You can also um, apply any of these artistic ones. If you go to artistic, and then you can go to cutout, dry brush, neon, glow, see what it. Uh, changes it applies to that texture in the background like film grain for example if you bring the grain over to the right or the left a lot of these uh, filters have their own uh, options over here settings so if I go to angled strokes and then direction balance uh, left and right it changes which way uh, the paint strokes are going and you can change other options for them as well so experiment with some of those and see if you can find uh, one that you like. You've got Sketch, Distort, uh, Stylize. And then if you go down to the bottom one, Texture, you got Patchwork, Grain, Stained Glass, Mosaic, Texturizer. On the Texturizer, you can change texture to Canvas, Brick, Burlap, Sandstone, and you can also change uh, how large it is with the scaling and how deep the relief is there. Alright, I'm going to hit cancel for that one. I'm going to show you another technique. I'm going to go ahead and delete that top layer, create another one, fill it again, alt backspace, or option delete on the Mac. Now, what you can do also is go to filter. Um, the last time we 
had added some noise. Um, you can also go to render fibers and it will create these kind of fiber looking uh, texture and you can adjust the different aspects of it and go ahead and once you have one that's uh, kind of close to what you're looking for go ahead and hit OK and then again you can also go to filter add another layer and may even go to sketch some of these are in those previews um, some of them are not uh, and again if it's too strong you can change the opacity down a little bit and the fill as well just depending on what your uh, look you're going for now you can also um, I'm gonna go ahead and close that and create the new layer again if you go to filter render clouds you don't have to have any pixels on that layer yet it's gonna render some clouds and what you can do then is you can add more filters to that as well you could blur it you could <coughs> you could add a sketch kind of half tone pattern even uh, depending on what again look you're going for you can add kind of a cool little background texture there alright um, so you get the half tone pattern combined with the cloud look for that one I'll go ahead and delete that create a new layer again and if you look under um, render and see difference clouds um, you actually have to fill it first go ahead and go to filter render difference clouds um, it, it changes the hue a little bit as you can see and again you can bring the opacity down and add a couple more filters depending on what kind of look you're going for alright so a lot of this involves some you don't have to have any uh, content in on that like with the clouds some of them you do you know if I wanted to do again if I want to do fibers you'd have to fill that first and then go to render fibers and you could add that for a texture so depending on what kind of uh, texture you're looking for Photoshop has a couple preset effects but you can customize them um, you can also do a texture on one layer and then do texture on another layer and change the layer blending mode and how it blends with each other if you're looking for something really unique. Thank you.